Greetings everyone. Manupatra brings to you the news highlights of 16th November 2022. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court while setting aside the orders of the Chief Judicial Magistrate Katwa and the Jammu and Kashmir High Court which held that one of the accused in the Katwa rape murder case was a juvenile has directed the accused should be tried as an adult. The court has held that the time period excluded under section 14 of the limitation act cannot be counted for the purpose of computing the period for which delay can be condoned the court has waived the condition to obtain a solvency certificate for availing the benefit of house arrest for gautam navlakha who is lost in mumbai prison in the bhima koregaon case The court while criticizing Punjab and Haryana governments for not taking any effective steps on recommendations made by Central Water and Power Research Station Pune to prevent flooding near the Ghaggar River basin observed that common man is interested in real solutions and not meetings The court while setting aside Patna High Court bail order directing teacher to return her salary has observed that such conditions are neither justified nor required to be imposed while granting anticipatory bail The Supreme Court has held that section 194 of the Income Tax Act 1961 is attracted in the case of supplementary commission amounts owned by the travel agent and therefore airlines are liable to deduct TDS. News from the High Courts starting with the Delhi High Court. The Delhi High Court has held that National Council for Teacher Education cannot claim existence of any inherent or plenary powers adding that statutory authority cannot impose penalties without authority of law in absence of an express provision in the parent statute the high court has expressed displeasure over delhi development authority's failure to pay rupees 10 lakh compensation to families of two persons who died while cleaning a sewer in outer delhi's mundka area The High Court while observing that electricity is an essential service has held that a person cannot be deprived of it without a cogent and lawful reason. The High Court has held that statement recorded during course of the search without any reference to material found during the search would not empower the assessing officer to make additions or disallowance merely on the assessee's admission. News from the Madras High Court The Madras High Court has initiated suo moto contempt proceedings against Director General of Police and other police officials for prima facie flouting the guidelines issued by the Supreme Court in DK Basu's case while arresting a lawyer in 2017. The High Court while observing that Tamil Nadu government is abusing preventive detention laws has stated that it will impose costs on the state whenever a preventive detention order is found to be illegal. News from the Bombay High Court. The Bombay High Court while allowing Johnson and Johnson Private Limited to restart manufacturing of its baby powder at their Mulund unit has directed the Food and Drug Administration to retest four samples at two government and one private laboratory. The High Court has directed Maharashtra Revenue Department to take an appropriate decision on allotment of new authorized stamped vendor licenses in Mumbai for the convenience of public or starting e-stamp facilities like NCR Delhi and other states. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.